All right, so in today's video, I'm going to show off uh, some new features I've been adding to do with facets, and this is going to go into our entire product line. Um, now, the facets, the left filter pane, it's always been in there. Um, it was, I always sort of described it as you use it when you start a search. So if you say have category full up here, if we just did a search for quiet, then it filters down the list, and then you're able to go, okay, I want to bring back... Um, all of the alarms which have the term quiet in there, or I can filter inside and just bring back the sirens. Uh, this one only had one record assigned, but there's bells and there's large. Let's see if we've got any which have any. Yeah, okay, here we go. So we've got five records for vehicles, and then there's the bicycles, and there's a generic buy. So it allows you to sort of just filter in. But a lot of people were like, I wish it was more interactive so that if you perhaps brought back some artwork that the left filter panel would would change or if you used an advanced search. Um, so I've, I've gone and really ripped it apart. But before I do that, I'll just explain that I'm using the uh, my home crowdsource that Tim Nielsen has um, organized. And he's just allowed me to have a copy of the database so I can run some tests on a few things. So you'll notice that this has a, a location field. And so one of the changes now is that location, just like category four, is split on comma. Um, and you'll notice that it's by country first and then by region. And if applicable, there's a city as well. Um, and that just means that if you view location in the side panel, you get this kind of list. So then I can bring back all the records uh, from Canada. So this, this crowdsource library is, I don't know how many designers there are or recorders. Um, maybe 400, maybe more, all around the world. And they've gone and submitted um, ambiences and various sounds that are uh, you know, local to their region. So I've just clicked on Canada at this point in time, and I can see I've got 316 records all across Canada. And I could open it up and start to go into, say, Ontario. So that's now 139. Or I can go to a very specific location inside. Another thing you can do, I'll just bring back all of Canada, is if I go to the artwork pane, I'm now seeing all of the artwork that's associated with my, my current search. So I'm like, oh, what's happening here? It's a river, a stream. So it is, it's water flowing, babbling brook, and I can see that it's Tim that was the recordist on this. And if I hold my option key down and click on Tim's name, it's now done a search for Tim and I see all of the, the sounds that he's, he's recorded. And in this case, I can see it's just in the Toronto area that, uh, that Tim did that. So let's go and do this again. We'll just clear Tim out. And I'll go, this is a little spilling mistake, but it's actually Beaver Lake. Um, so Tim's going to fix that right now. And I can see that this uh, was Hiromi, who sometimes comes and stays with, with us up here in Canada. So I can see what other sounds Hiromi's done. Same thing, I'll just option click on his name. And I can see, okay, there's the Beaver Lake one, but he's also done a bunch of recordings in Japan. So if I happen to know where Kamakura is, I think that looks familiar. If I, I could click on the artwork or I could click on, on the, the name. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's Kamakura right there. So you can see that it, it shows up. So let's just bring back everything. And now let's scroll down. Actually, you know what? We'll do a search for Petaluma. There it goes. Let's get a little suggestion that it's uh, that's the location. So I'll click on that. And there's my map image. So I can click on the map image. So I don't need that location anymore because it's now using the artwork. And then I can open up Designer and I can see there's Tim and there's Andre. So I could filter down to Tim sounds or Andre sounds. I could. Uh, Let's see what else I can do here. Well, I know the location is California. We'll clear all these. Actually, you know what? I'll do this. I'll do a search for Dave Farmer. So he's the sound designer. And I can see he's got recordings in Virginia and California and same kind of thing. I can just kind of go through. Now let's just say, okay, I'm in California. I'm going to remove Dave. I'm going to now lock my results and do an advanced search in description for C. So this should now be uh, sounds in California with C in their description. And then I could narrow it down to say, there's the one from San Francisco, San Diego, Burbank, 
all of California again, or now widen it to all of the United States. It's still just searching for C somewhere in the description. So as you can see it's it's very interactive, and this works with you know the advanced search. I could also um, it will call up Dave again. Should turn my lock off because I want a new search, so I want these to clear. So with it unlocked, whenever I do a search, the existing pills disappear. So there we go. There's Dave again. So now I can click through, and I could say click on his name. It's basically doing the same thing in this case. It's bringing back all of his records, um, but it's a way to sort of just kind of browse through based on a folder path. So I could bring back everything from batch 15, for instance, and then see, okay, here's all the designers that submitted in batch 15. And there's Henry Sounds, and maybe he did more submissions. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it was probably all in just batch 15, but if I remove it, we'd be able to see. No, it's just batch 15. So the other thing that's in here as well, you'll notice that uh, we've entered in GPS latitude and longitude coordinates for most of these things. And we've done it in a in a way, obviously, if you recorded a, a sound in your backyard, uh, a lot of the photos will embed in the EXIF metadata, GPS latitude and longitude, but no one wants to know exactly where you live in the world. So we've anonymized it quite a bit. So it's just, it's just the region. So if we go to Petaluma again, there's Petaluma. There's my artwork, there's my, my GPS coordinates, and then you'll also notice there's a URL, which right now is just using OpenStreetMaps, and if I click on the www icon, you'll see it takes me to Petaluma, and then I can kind of zoom in and zoom out. So this is, this is where the GPS coordinates were, it's just Petaluma downtown, but you can see if you're not too sure where in the world something is, Let's try and find something a bit more exotic, somewhere I've never been. Don't know that's exotic to me, I should say. So let's clear all this stuff out, do a whole new search. Um, what should we go? Let's go, to, let's go to Thailand. So I can see, click on this, and there we are. That's roughly where this recording was made. And then I can zoom out and see.